Hi, I'm Erica Powell reporting for OWTV. I'm inside the art gallery where students of the visual arts department got a chance to show their artwork and other great things. Let's take a look. Let's see, as a department, we wanted to do this. Um, the show was curated by Mac Adams. And the objective of the show is to show the college community the sort of work we do in the visual arts department, and specifically to, um, to emphasize the new technologies that we're using. Uh, so in this show, you have a range of work. You have a room full of graphic design. You have a room full of animation and 3D printing. And then also another room with sculpture and some 3D printing technologies and uh, a CNC router associated with that. What we do is we, we, print, we just use a regular Xerox paper and it prints each individual layer of the um, 3D printout. And then once all the papers have them printed, we put the paper back into the machine where it cuts, where it glues each individual paper together and then cuts, cuts them into little um, squares. And then once it's printed, um, once it's done, you take the um, paper out and it has these, it's cut with little squares and um, then you have to peel everything off and then you get these. Well, I teach the um, 3D digital design class and advanced uh, electronic media seminar, so a lot of students who are working also in 3D and animation. These, what we're showing here, are projects from my 3D classes. So we made the video, first we make the models, uh, animate them, and then we print it out, some of the models. I teach Sculpture 1 and Sculpture 2. They're kind of also taught together. So, uh, in fact, what's curious is that in that Sculpture class, the class that produced all this work you see here, uh, it was 22 students and only two of them were art majors. What advice do you have for like the artists and stuff about tonight? Keep it up, like keep up the good work. This is what I love to see, you know, young people doing what they have to do, using their creativity to create new things, so. This is really revolutionary technology. And it's our belief that there's not gonna be any profession that will not be affected by this in some form. So I think it's uh, students who really really uh, try to become part of this to get the kind of fundamental knowledge in how to um, make things because um, one is going to be able to make almost anything from home and that's the that's the kind of revolutionary part of this it's and we and we are lucky enough to be at the beginning of this don't miss your chance to see the works from the visual arts students in this exhibit Located in the Amelia A. Wallace Gallery in the Campus Center until Thursday, May 1st. This is Erica Power reporting for OWTV.